In this step then, we're finally going to make this level watertight, make sure the player can't find any ways to get out by bringing in the final few pieces, make it look pretty. We're also going to put a ceiling on there as well. So let's have a little look at how we do that. We're going to just bring in two more meshes. So let's go to import. We now want the fence and we want the trim corner. So we'll open both of those. I'm just going to check my settings because we did change them a little bit in the last step. So generate missing collision is on. One convex hull is on. Combine is on. And materials do not create. Yep, that's good. So I can click on import all. Then we need to open these up and get the materials on. So we'll do the fence first. This one has that steel material on. Lovely. And save that. And then the other one is the corner. This one's got three materials on, so I'm going to highlight this one. Uh, that's the accent color, so we're going to make that one blue. In fact, I'm not going to do that. I might invert this. So we're going to make this one the industrial gray color. And then this one's, no, nope, this one's going to be chrome. Because it's just these shiny boxes here. And then this last one's going to be blue. And the reason I'm sort of inverting the colors is to make that stand out against the rest of the pieces there. So that's good and save. Right, so the first thing we want is this corner sorting out. So I'm just going to make sure my snaps are on 50. They are. That just means it'll all line up nicely. Bring a piece in. I'm going to rotate it so that it faces this way. Make sure that everything is a multiple of 50 here. So yep, yeah, 350, 250, and that means it will all just line up nicely. So I'm going to move it over here oh, like that, and then move it over here. And then I'm going to drag it down below the ground as well. Perfect. And you can see that it is covering up all the gaps. I knew that was going to happen because I made these pieces. And then we need to make a couple more copies to get this to go all the way up. So I'm going to do Alt and click to bring it up here. And then there is a problem. You can see that in fact, it's fine actually. I could leave it like that. But I'm going to invert the height just so that things match up a little bit better. So let's just drag it down on this axis and I can see that it's this one that's changing. So that'll be minus one. And then we're going to move this up like that. That's nice. And you see that line then just continues on. It's not a big deal, but you know, it's there. And then I'm just going to duplicate this one up again. So it doesn't matter that things go up at different heights. Let's just go into unlit mode a sec. See, things are at different heights, but we're going to use the ceiling in a minute to kind of close that off. So don't worry about getting things exact because that's just not how game artists work. As far as they're concerned, if you can't see it, it's not a problem. So we're going to follow that exact message there. So that now looks good. We're going to get a copy of them. One, two, three. And we're going to hold Alt and click. And then we're going to rotate them. Oh, did I go too far? I did. Put them back. Yeah, that's good. And then just move it into place there. Make sure that looks lined up. It does. See how that looks to the player. What do you think, player? Does that look good? Player thinks it looks very good. Player is very happy. Cool. So that now looks pretty special. We just need a ceiling now. And we're going to cheat for the ceiling because I love cheating. So here's what we do. You see these floor pieces here? I'm going to find them. So I just clicked on one. So it's SM floor. And it's number one here. So I'm going to click on number one. I know there are 20 pieces. So I'm going to go to number 20. Hold shift and click. And that will select all of them. And this is going to become our ceiling. So I'll hold alt and click to move it up. So there is about the right height, I believe. Um, but one thing to remember is that these are one-sided. So you can see I can see through them at the moment. So we need to flip the height. And that is going to be, I can see it's on the blue axis, which is Z. So scale is going to become minus one. And then you can now see that I can see things. Yay! So we're pretty much good to go there. Have a look. See what the player can see. So yeah, most of the room's working fine. I am, in a couple of videos time, gonna tweak the light in a little bit. So I don't like that as it's catching those highlights. 
But because I know I'm going to sort it later, I'll leave it for now. Everything below the ceiling looks good. Everything's watertight. Play can get through the door. Wonderful. So in the next step, we're going to look at the outliner. So we've now got dozens of meshes and things. It's getting a bit messy. So we're going to bring that under control. So I'll see you in the next step where we will do that. Thanks for watching and supporting the channel. If you'd like to help me create more content like this, please consider becoming a patron on Patreon. The contributions I get through Patreon make a huge difference in keeping this channel going. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to make sure you don't miss my upcoming tutorials. Your support and engagement mean the world to me and help my channel continue to grow. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.